On January 23rd, the central government decided a lockdown in Wuhan and other cities in the Hubei province. This image shows traffic on the Yingwu Chou Yangtze River Bridge on January 12th, before the lockdown. Two weeks later, the streets are empty and life in China was transformed. Within weeks, emergency hospitals were set up in Wuhan, like this one. Construction was started on the same evening as the lockdown began on January 23rd, and the first patients were admitted 11 days later on February 3rd. Another field hospital was also set up within a short period of time. For this, the free space of a parking lot was used. Due to the outbreak, large gatherings were banned and shrine sites were closed. Skepticism rose regarding the official number of cases as satellite imagery revealed that a large number of new graves were created at an unusual speed. On February 21st, a large outbreak in Italy was reported. In early March, the country entered a complete lockdown. The effects of these restrictions can be seen in Venice. The waters that are usually crowded with boats came to a standstill as Europe became the new center of what is now a global pandemic. India has become the latest and largest country to introduce a nationwide lockdown. Over in Saudi Arabia, officials abruptly stopped issuing tourist visas to foreigners planning Umrah pilgrimages. Take a look at this, St. Peter's Square at the Vatican, empty. A drive-through testing station for coronavirus. This makes testing faster and easier than before. The U.S. is now leading the world in the number of confirmed coronavirus cases. New York has become the epicenter of the outbreak in the U.S. 19 million New Yorkers are being asked to stay at home as much as possible. 